Yeah, so... Remember how I said there were those couple of quests that I always, always, always forget about? Here we are. Have you news for me, Cuban? Have you discovered why the Republic is hiring mercenaries? Yes. They're sending them down to a secret base on the Harakert Rift. Harakert Rift? It's as I feared. The Republic is fortunate I was the one assigned to investigate this case. You might allow me to be blunt with you. If I report this violation to my superiors, the Republic will be banned from Manon. I do not wish to do this. I see the Sith for what they truly are. Ruthless and evil. The Republic has always respected our independence, but if they fall, the Sith will be quick to send an invasion fleet to conquer Manon. But I cannot simply ignore what the Republic has done. The Hrakert Rift is the source of Manon's culto, and I fear the science station may be may damage the production of the delicate resource. You must tell the Republic to stop this madness at once. Make them shut down the facility and recall their people before they do something we all regret. They couldn't. They'd lost contact with the science facility. Of course, I should have realized. Doubtless, they were hiring the mercenaries to investigate the situation. But I fear mercenaries alone may not be enough to save their station. There are ancient mysteries when the Hracker Rift that even we Selkath do not comprehend. I fear the Republic has awakened something that is best left undisturbed. They awoke a creature which fed on the Colto. Creature. Feeding on the Colto. Many mysteries of the Rift that we have never known. That will be one of them. Public building disturbed it, no doubt. What has happened to this creature? The creature is alive. It's a most unexpected development. One that will warrant investigation at a later time. Perhaps the Republican we sell Gath may eventually solve. I will keep our conversation secret so the vile Sith will not gain from the Republic's foolishness. I only hope my silence does not lead to disaster from Manon. Here's the payment I promised you. Now I must take my leave, you. My superiors are expecting a full report from me. There's much I must do to ensure they cannot uncover the Republic's actions. Alright, so that's one. And here's the other. Human, you return. Have you information for me? Have you discovered the fate of the missing Selkath youth? Have you news of my daughter, Shasa? I have information for you, Shayless. Excellent. You've done well. What have you learned? The Sith are training the Selkath youth in the ways of the Dark Jedi. Yes, this makes sense. It's a wonder I did not see this before. Manon's greatest strength is our neutrality. Malak brainwashes our youth and indoctrinates them in the ways of the Sith. We'll have a strong following of the Selkath people, strong enough to seize control of Manon and our culto. Daughter Shasa, she too has been indoctrinated to the Sith camp. I've convinced your daughter to turn her back on the Sith ways. Human, if you speak the truth, I am forever in your debt. And yet my joy is tempered by the knowledge that the Sith still walk freely about Manon. Hopefully the testimony of my daughter will be enough proof of their actions to make the Auto City authorities take action. I hope so. You have done much for me, human. Here are the credits I promised you. I wish I had more to give. Thank you, Shayless. Please excuse me now, human. I must go speak to the Manon authorities about this Sith plot and what they have done about to my beloved daughter. Alright. And that was the two quests that I had forgotten about here on Manon. So, back to the ship. And with that out of the way, hello everybody, welcome back to this episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is what I'm getting at. Um, this time, we are leaving Manon as we have nothing left to do here. And we are heading to Korriban, so let's go.
Fifth interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. My own mentor. Ooh. So we were ambushed in space and we're being dragged aboard the Leviathan, the uh, Sith flagship. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. Don't do anything you regret, Karth. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I, mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. So... It gives you the option of saying that one of the three of them can get out of here. Um, but I'm just going to cut to the chase. Admiral Kareth will be watching the three of us very closely. One of the others is going to have to save us. Well, if we're going to pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're going to have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Anyone in the crew... Anyone else in the crew except for Zalbar is a viable option. If you try to suggest Zalbar, they will shoot down that idea because Wookiees um, tend to attract too much attention. Maybe I can goad the guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough... They might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. <coughs> it's a risk we have to take, Big Z. I can slice my way free of any security cell. Don't worry. I can pull this off. I won't let you down. You'll see. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a young Twi'lek in the back. She's got quite the mouth on her. She swore at me and <laughs> spit on my uniform. She tried to bite me through my armor, and you should hear what she said about my mother. Admiral Karath needs to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. The Admiral doesn't have time to bother with some Twi'lek girl. Drag her away to solitary confinement. I'll leave it up to you to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. We found a disabled astromech droid in the back of the ship. Wipe its memory chips and take it to the junk pile. Maybe we can use some of its parts for salvage. We found an old man in the back. I, I think we should keep him separate from the others for questioning. A strange request. And why do you think this old man should be segregated? I, I'm not sure, Commander. After speaking with him, I just, I, I just think we should question him away from the others. I, I agree, Commander. After speaking with the old man, I think we should question him away from the others. Very well. The Admiral is probably too busy to bother with this old man anyway. Take him to solitary confinement for interrogation. Report back to me if you learn anything. We 
found an injured Mandalorian in the back. Looks like he was trying to rig the ship's engines to break free of our tractor beam when something exploded. Admiral Carruth wants us to question all the prisoners. Did you get any information from him? He's unconscious right now. I don't think he's going to make it. He's burned pretty bad. Dump the Mandalorian in the medical bay. Let them take the blame if he dies before the Admiral has a chance to interrogate him. We found a disabled hunter-killer droid in the back of the ship. Excellent. We can reprogram this droid to fight in our own army. Wipe its memory chip and take it to the salvage shop. The technicians will deal with it later. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Return to your post and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're wasting your time, Saul. I'll never betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malak of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. Ah! Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malak will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you talking about? I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. I will not betray the Jedi Order, even to save Bastila. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan. It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well, this is the price of your resistance. <coughs> Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. No, you're lying.
lying. It, it isn't true. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? I won't betray the Jedi. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Uh, no! Uh, uh, Fing! Uh, Listen, can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? You are a sick and evil man, Saul Karath. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! no! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Ah! Wow. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Kareth had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. No one is without hope of redemption, Bastila. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Maybe Admiral Kareth was lying. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook. And, uh, so I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Where is Saul Kareth now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. I'm sorry, Basila. Watching you suffer tore me apart. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that, it might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Mission busts us out of here before he arrives. Okay, so what I ended up deciding to do was record all six of the Leviathan stories edit them in to play at the same time and record commentary and editing to go over it now as you can see each character starts in a different place mission and jolie start in cells candorus starts in medical the droids start in droid maintenance and juhani starts over by the elevator but other than the places where they start each character basically has um, more or less the same thing to do with minor variations. That is to uh, defeat the Sith Guard that's in the hallway between the cells and the uh, room in the hallway next to it. 
in one of the cells is, is, is a Rodian that currently Juhani is speaking to who will offer you something in return. Looks like Mission's also talking to him. Um. No? Looks like Mission's just letting herself out of the cell. But anyway, now this Rodian, who Ju Jolie is also speaking to now, will offer you a unique item that can only be used in this area called an icebreaker. What it does is it will give you 99 um, computer spikes to use in the computer in the nearby room. In order to get it, you just have to free him. And in order to do that, there's a Sith guard walking down the hall in the next hallway. Just defeat him and uh, all characters except... Well, the top... Okay. All characters except for Mission and Jolie start with weapons, basically. So with two of them, you have to find a weapon so you can fight. But after that, you just take out the Sith guard. Then you return to the Rodian cell. You free him. He'll give you the icebreaker. Then you return to where you defeated the Sith guard. Enter the room he was by. There will be two technicians in their face, which Joe. Uh, Juhani is currently taken care of. Once you defeat them, you can search the room, which Juhani is currently doing. And then log into the computer. And it doesn't matter which character you do this, as the icebreaker will make this easy. It gives you way more um, spikes than you need. You have to go to both options. One of them will have the open up the detention area. The other one you can go to the uh, camera outside of the cells and open up all the cells to allow the uh, crazed Rodians to start a riot and the rest of the Sith Guards will t try to suppress it then you just gas them all to take them all out at once. You could just fight all of them but this is a lot easier. Once you take care of that you just log out and go into the room where all those guards were, which Juhani is going to do next. And I'll take this time at at this moment right now to apologize if it looks a little choppy, because it looks a little choppy in my editing software. I don't know if it will on the final product or not, but if it does, I apologize, because my computer is rather slow. And it might not be able to handle everything that's going on on screen, but inside of the uh, inside of the guard barracks, you'll get another key. Now I think that key will open up the detention area, so you might not need it. But in Juhani's case, there will be a heavy soldier you have to fight atop the ramps at this point. Nobody else has to fight this guy. But upon defeating the heavy soldier, it's a simple it's a simple short walk to the detention area. And it looks like some of the other characters are starting to catch up to Juhani. Most of them are at least in the um, computer room while Juhani is facing the heavy soldier. Mission is in last place somehow, despite the fact that she is the uh, first character I used. And Juhani has defeated the heavy soldier, is healing, and um, is moving on now. So, Let's keep going. Let's see who is the first one to complete their mission. Johanny's taking on technicians at the top. There's three of them and everyone and everyone's uh mission. I think the ones that start up near there have to take them out first. Like I said, minor variations for everyone. I just wanted to show off what everyone has to do. 
And I thought, you know, since we're not coming back to this area, we might as well collect everything in everyone's, um, story, just to be safe. But Juhani was the one who reached the place first. So now we just gotta wait for everyone else, and Mission is in last place. She just reached the computer. So we're waiting on the rest. But that was what we um, needed to do. We're just seeing who gets there next. If I remember right, it was... Can yeah, Candorous was the next one to get there. He just reached the place now. After him was... I think it was Joel Lee, if I remember right. No, it was T3. T3's reached the place now. So... We're, uh... We've got half of the... Mission, half of the stories done with this first part of Leviathan. And as far as my computer screen is showing, uh, it is becoming a lot less choppy. I'm seeing HK walk up the ramp. I'm seeing Jolie heal. And Jolie has reached the end of his story, leaving only mission and HK left to go and HK has finished his so let's focus on mission now since she's the only one left to do hers she is looking in the lockers the foot locker and leaving this area wow she's that far behind holy crap I knew she was the last to finish I just Wow. That far behind. Okay. So, going up here, we have the technicians to deal with. Alright. Then, uh... That's one. Yeah, I switched out weapons to, uh... Make this go quicker. Okay. Alright, and that's... Okay. Okay. That's two. Oh, okay. That's the one I was... Alright. That's three. Collect everything. Alright. Uh, Re-equip the blasters. Go through here, collect everything. Alright. So this is the droid maintenance area. This is where T3 and HK wake up. Across the hall is the morgue, which is where Candorous wakes up. That's why they start by taking out the technicians that Mission just took out. Wow, she took a lot longer than everybody else. Okay. So, from there, it's only a short walk around this corner, and then around this corner. And with that, mission is completed, so I'm going to go back to my live commentary now. Good job, mission. I know you wouldn't let us down. When we get out of this, I'm gonna see that you get a medal from the Republic for everything you've done. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Let's 
get our equipment and blast our way to those bridge controls. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. I'm coming too. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get to the equipment room, grab what you need, and get going. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. We still have to get our equipment. Let's go. Okay, and with that, we are officially done with all the running around as other characters. We can get back to playing as ourselves. 2,000 credits back. And here is everything that the Sith confiscated from us when they captured us. And we can pick up more stuff. <sighs> Alright. I, for one, am glad to be ba past that. Yeah. I can put all my stuff back on. And with that, let's move out. Now, first thing we're going to want to do is head back the way we came in every one of those uh, playthroughs. And instead of going back towards the prison block, we're going to go straight here. Because up here is the elevator. This is Candorus. We're at the Ebon Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry. We'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Now, don't worry about that. We won't have to worry about taking out the heavy guard. We won't even see it. Next time we hear from them, they'll be ready to go. Anyway, now, on the lift, we have to click on the controls. And it'll give us options of where to go. We, d we don't have to go to the hangar yet. In fact, I don't think we can. Yeah, we have to unlock the hangar door so we can actually leave before we can get to the hangar. So the only place we can go is this bridge because cell block is where we already are. 